a little bit more. Yeah. Uh. My body is like kind of sore really up in my neck, just kind of like in my back and then like my hamstrings. Which one of those is worse? Are they about the same? Uh, probably like my lower back. Do you get headaches at all? Uh, sometimes. Okay, how often do you get a headache? Is it like once a month, once a week? Um, I get like tension headaches sometimes, maybe like once a week. But... Alright, so when you get a tension headache, what do you do for it? Oh, just like rub my face. Okay. Just like my muscles, yeah, because I know about all that. Mm -hmm. How do you know about all that? Because I'm a massage therapist. <laughs> okay, massage therapist, very good. I am. How long have you been a massage therapist? Well, I just finished school, so technically I'm not licensed yet, but I have been practicing for like two or three years. Do you work out? Mm-hmm. How many days a week? Um, uh, maybe like three or four. Okay. You well, I run every day, but like heavy, like a heavier workout would be like three or four. Okay. All right, how long have you been a runner for? Um, like as long as I can remember. How old are you? I'm 23. Okay. I had to think about that for a second because my birthday just passed. <laughs> uh, do you take any supplements? Any herbs, vitamins, minerals? Um, I take probiotics and I drink chlorophyll. Sometimes I take L-theanine and like vitamin C, but more so on like an inconsistent basis. Mm -hmm. L-theanine's for workout. Well, I took it because I thought that it was supposed to help you sleep, but then I don't know if it's actually helping. So. Okay. Yeah. So tell me, do you have difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep? Um, falling asleep. Yeah. Uh, cannabis. I'm not a smoker. I. How long have you noticed having a sleeping issue? Um, oh, well, I was diagnosed insomnia at like a really young age, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always just been a thing. Oh, right, let's go through it. Ankles. Do you have any ankle issues? Um, sometimes they kind of hurt. I have like flatter feet, so I had to get um. Like when I was in high school, I'd get these like inserts like molded to my feet. So I have to wear those when I'm like working out and stuff. Mm -hmm. If I don't, then yes, yeah, sometimes my ankles will hurt. Yeah. All right. Do you, have you ever had any major accidents or injuries? Well, the only time I've ever felt like something major, I was in a car accident and I had like a lacerated spleen, but that was it. Nothing else. Surprisingly, I didn't even get whiplash. I tried like a bunch of stuff for sleep. CBD, L-theanine, I tried um, tryptophan or whatever it is, L-tryptophan. Yeah, I tried drinking the chai lattes, all the stuff that makes you sleepy. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Have you ever been to a chiropractor before? I have not. Hey, great. It was my first time. How do you feel about it? I am a little nervous. I'm excited though. Okay, looking at the feet first, there's a slight eversion on the left side. Looking at the Achilles tendon, there's bilateral pronation. It's more prominent on the right. So, all right, right high shoulder, and there's restricted movement on the right arm. Try to get your arm swing equal both sides. Turn around and go the other way. Try to do equal arm swing. Just try it. Good, there you go. Okay, so now the arm swing is equal on both sides. That we brought some awareness to it, that's fine. And then come back this way. Let's see if that changes the height of the shoulder. No. All right, looking at the hips, restricted moving to the left. Very strong. What sports did you play? Um, I cheered. Tenderness? Ugh. Tenderness? No, on the right side. How about here? Tender? No. Here. Mm. Upper SI. Mm-hmm. Here? Whoa. L5. Yeah, it's all down here. Your lower back is working much harder and more on the right. This is the area of of the most heat, we can say for sure. Good, nice and symmetrical, very calm, moving down through the spine. And I do see that you have a, you do have a slight translation here. What does that mean? It means that you're shifted like this. You're... 
Yeah, I drive with my arm like up. Nothing. So did the, did the car, when you got to the car accident, did the car hit you this way? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to push a little bit deeper into the muscles. And just, this is for the multifidus and the rotatoris spinal muscles. These are the deep spinal muscles. Tender? Mm, a not little, too bad. But not too bad. Open. Back together. Open. Back together. So there's good movement and dropping here on the right, which means the right SI joint is moving. There's less movement on the left. Okay, I'm going to push down on top of your head. Do you have any pain, discomfort, tension when I push there like this? Mm, on the left a little bit, like right there, I felt like teeny. Up here? Yeah, but it wasn't like bad, it just felt like... You could feel it. Yeah, maybe like a little, yeah, in there. Okay, this is a trap fiber here. We'll get to that. Let um, your arms relax. This helps us determine which way the pelvis is rotated. Um, you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, looking at your hamstrings and sliding up to the glute fold, we're lower on the right and higher on the left. That means that this right ilium has possibly, you can relax here, the right ilium is possibly rotated posterior and inferior like this, or the left ilium has gone anterior and superior like this. So there's like a twist there like that. Okay. But it's super mild, okay? Mm -hmm. Just let this I relax. I had a good posture. No, your posture's okay. Like, there's no postural changes here, so... You, you have um, a decent thoracic curvature and lumbar curvature here. These curves are intact, okay? And you don't have the hump here. You're okay, still young, good. so don't look down at your phone for five hours a day. and then that thing ever. That's one of my biggest fears. This is one of your biggest fears? Yeah, they're so ugly. Yeah. I cannot. Look at your back musculature. Symmetrical, strong, balanced. Even with the pronation, I can see your ankles work really hard to try to compensate for that pronation that's happening down there. Yeah, it's because my feet... Arch supports are, arch supports are yeah, good. Yeah, when idea. I don't wear them, yeah, they go in like that. Observing your spine for scoliosis. There's no rib humping here. Let your head relax. That's good. No rib humping. Very symmetrical and even. No scoliosis in your spine. Go ahead and stand up. I'm not so scared about my back. I just... I don't... My neck is like... It's scary. It's for me. I get like anxious, even when like my teeth like, massage it'll work like around my head and my neck. It just hurts me. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. One of the things that I specialize in, uh, you can't really specialize in this, but like one of the things that I attract uh -huh. is people who have never been adjusted who are scared. Uh -huh. And the reason is because I take my time, I go slow, and I explain everything. Okay. And by the time we get to your neck, I'll already have adjusted you like six times in your back and your hips. So, like, you're going to be more comfortable by the time we get there. Yeah. Do you have any pain, discomfort, tension when I push there? Mm, no, I don't feel, like, any pain. Okay, I'm going to come to the top of the sacrum. Do you feel it there? Mm, no. Here. Left side. Mm, my muscles feel a little tight, but... Okay. L5, any discomfort here? Mm. 
feels like pressure, but oh yeah, that feels kind of weird. Alright, push your legs out to the side. What aren't you telling me? What? I don't know. There's, <laughs> there's something more here. Oh, I did forget to tell you I do get shin splints. Okay. Well, you're a runner and you have pronation issues. Yeah, so it's, it's just like a constant thing. I forget yeah. that it's even like a thing. Relax, relax. It's constant? Yeah. Left should stay short. Okay, I'm gonna do some trap fiber work. Let your shoulders relax. Good. Nice gentle breathing, Kayla. Was it terrible in here or what? <laughs> it's not too bad. Nice gentle breathing, letting your back relax. I'm not adjusting you yet. We're going to practice one first before I adjust you, okay? Uh -huh. Oops, excuse me. Uh -huh. Good, down. Let me do the work here. Good, down. Which is okay? Yeah, it feels weird. Since my hip is up like this, it does feel like a little, when the, like, the gun is going, it feels like a little bit more tender on my right side.
which is okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a stretch of the spinal cord. Just following your breath. All right, we're going to practice one first, okay? Uh-huh. I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. And I'm going to follow your breath down like this with my hands. I'm not pushing yet. I'm just practicing. Good. Following your breath. See, you're relaxed. And then right there, all we're going to do is push just a little bit. A little bit. I'm scared. Totally okay to be scared. You ready to try it though? I'm gonna be super gentle, okay? I'm gonna give the most conservative push I can give, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. Good, do it again, in breath. Out breath. Sinking in, shoulders. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, feel this one right there. Tender? Yeah. Okay, same thing. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Sinking in shoulders. Good, sinking, good. Uh, well, that one felt weird. A little bit different. This time we push at the top of the breath, so you're gonna take a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, breathe out. Then there's where we push at the top oh, of the out breath. This is just like the first one, okay. Did anything hurt so far? And the one up and my 
my shoulders. It didn't hurt, but it felt like tender. Was it unbearable tenderness? No. Are you gonna tell anyone about it later? Tenderness? Uh, no. Gentle. This is I'm like trying to relax my shoulders, but I keep getting anxious, so I keep getting like tight. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you're totally allowed to be anxious. You're totally allowed to get anxious. Let's just take a couple breaths. Let's not do anything for a minute. Let's just take. Let's just breathe for a minute. Are you ready to try something very soft and gentle? Uh -huh. Soft and gentle. All you have to do is take a deep breath in, far in as you can go. Now let your shoulders sink as you breathe out. Let it all go. This is how we adjust the low back, okay? Uh -huh. I'm gonna bring your shoulders in this direction like this. I'm gonna bring your hips down like this. Then we're gonna push like that, okay? Mm -hmm. I right, turn your head so your face straight that way. Okay. okay, that's very good. Good. Breathing in and out. Good. Let this relax here. Good. Right, I guess. Good. One more time in. Good. We're going to bring this down. Good. Again in. Last one. Gentle, 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 gentle. Whoa. A little bit more. On your back. Whoa. On your breath, gentle. Good. Good. Do the same thing one more time. And out. So we're gonna bring the shoulder up. There's more. Hold on. There's more. Hold on. Gentle. Ah. Whoa. Looking at your legs, this is how we decide where to adjust the neck. So what you're going to do is turn your head to the right, center, now to the left, center. Bring your left ear down to your shoulder, good, back to center, and then one more time, turn to the left, center. Breathing, gentle, good. You just keep doing that ocean breathing. Okay. What should I do with my hands back under here? Mm hmm I am scared. Totally fine. I'm going to do it as gentle as I possibly can. So what's going to happen, I'm going to bring your head over to the side like this. You're doing good. I'm going to use my fingers. We're going to come over to the side like this. And then right from there, we're just going to gently push like that. That feels weird. Of course it feels weird. <laughs> no one's ever cracked your neck before. And do a microphone. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the left side first. 
Gentle, 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 gentle. We're coming over to the side. We're going to push in this direction. Good. You're doing fine. It feels like really like... Blocked. It feels like tender. Yeah. yeah like. Uh -huh. That's why we need to do it. All right. Gentle, 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 sinking, 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 sinking. You're just doing everything. You can relaxy taxi. Good. It's just kind of like falling into the table. That's a good breath. Good breathing out. Feeling that good. Oh my god, whoa. That was crunchy. <laughs> okay, it didn't hurt though. Didn't. Didn't hurt. It put, it made my body have like, I felt like tingles. It was good. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I felt like, whoa. Just checking. Let me check first. And let's see. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, that felt kind of weird up there. Mm, that's where we're going. One on the right. Sinking, sinking, sinking. Oh, I'm scared for this one for some Why? reason. I don't know. Why? I started freaking out. Go to the ocean. In the self low, you just found a seashell. It's beautiful. It's a spiral, purple stripes on it. Your friends are with you. The sun is warm. The water is cool and gentle, splashing back and forth into the waves. Okay, that one, like, I didn't even, like, feel it. Like, I heard it, but I didn't feel like I felt it. I was definitely somewhere else when that happened. But it felt good. Whoa, dude. I'm very cold. Very damp and cold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Ready? Got the roast beef. Uh huh. Oh yeah, so like right there is like super tender. See the watcher like thumb. Oh, ow, 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 yeah, no. Ow. It's like it's like really bad there. Oh, yeah. Breathe. Whoa. Good breathing into your nose. You're doing good. Good. Shoulders and hips sinking in. Okay, this is how we adjust the pubic bone, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're gonna squeeze my fist in between your knees like this. Go ahead and squeeze as hard as you can. Whoa, that was crazy. Start with the ileocecal valve. This is the window in between the large and the small intestine. I'm gonna start with your navel here and your ASIS, front of the hip bone. Connect these two points in the middle. Oh, this is gonna make me have to go to the bathroom. Maybe. Coming up to the pyloric sphincter. This is where the stomach empties into the duodenum. I'm gonna replace the microphone a little bit closer to your colon. Deep breaths into your belly. Ugh. It's okay, keep going into your belly. Oh, that hurts. Feels like it sends pink up here. Hmm. Breathe. 
it feels not as tense. When I breathe in deep, it feels like weird, but. <laughs> I feel good. I feel relaxed. Yeah, I definitely feel a lot more relaxed. I was super anxious coming in, but it was great. My body feels really like in tune with oh, everything. Yeah, it feels good.